Hello and welcome to Supervisor Tips and Tricks. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Local Krieger Neighbourhood Optimization. So what exactly is Local Krieger Neighbourhood Optimization, or LKNO? Well, it stems from the fact that every block estimated in a model is independent of every other block estimate, and therefore the parameters used for each block do not need to be identical. LKNO is an alternative approach to optimising estimation parameters, and it ensures that each block is estimated with the best possible combination of parameters. The way it works is that creating estimates are performed using a range of parameter options, and the estimate that produces the best result is the one that is used. Now when I say best, that is the estimate that produces the highest creating efficiency and or slope of regression and or sum of negative weights. So let's have a look at how you can perform an LKNO estimate in Supervisor. In order to add an LKNO component, you will need to group your data assay over domain, as shown here. You will also need to have generated your variograms. Right-click on the domain you wish to optimise and select Add LKNO. The first step is to specify the block model origin and block size. The default values are taken from the sample data and you can either edit them manually or alternatively, if you want to use a loaded block model, select it from the drop-down menu. The next step is to select which variograms will be used in the estimation. By default, the variogram models generated for that particular domain are selected, but if you want to use models from a different domain, you can do so by clicking on the Browse button and selecting the required models. The search angles are taken directly from the variograms. The number of discretization points in the X, Y and Z directions can be entered manually. For top cutting, you have four options. Don't apply a top cut at all. Apply a global top cut by specifying either a specific value and all samples above this value will be reset to this number. The second option is to specify a metal percent. And the third option is to apply a top cut defined in the global top cut analysis. This option will be greyed out if you have not inserted a global top cut analysis. Note that the current maximum grade recognises any filters that you may have set. You can apply a local top cut by specifying a CV limit or metal percentage. If the CV limit option is selected, and if the CV of the samples informing a block exceed this value, and they are positively skewed, then the sample data is top cut until that CV level is reached. If the samples are negatively skewed, then no top cut will be applied. If the top cut metal by percent option is checked and the CV of the samples informing a block exceeds the nominated CV, then the sample data is top cut by the metal percentage defined. The fourth top cutting option is to top cut according to the parameters defined in a local transition model, if one has been inserted. You can choose to optimise the creating efficiency, the slope of regression, the sum of negative weights or any combination of the three. The tolerance controls whether an estimate is accepted or rejected. In this example, I've chosen to optimise creating efficiency only, so if the creating efficiency improves by more than 0.01 based on the previous estimation cycle, then the estimate will be accepted. Finally, we need to define a set of parameters. The parameter set number will allow you to identify which parameter set was used to estimate each block in the resultant model. The other parameters I think are pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to define four different parameter sets by entering them manually. You can also generate multiple parameter sets in a single run by completing the Generate Parameter Scenarios section of the panel. Click on the Update button to run the estimate. The estimation uses ordinary Krieging, and what is happening is that the initial estimate uses parameters defined by parameter set 0, and the results saved to a block model. The estimate is then run again using parameters defined by parameter set 1, and if the Krieging efficiency, in this case for a particular block, is greater than the one stored in the block model, then all results for that particular block are replaced. This happens for each of the parameter sets. The result is each block in the resulting grade model is based on the best combination of search parameters. The results can be viewed in the 3D viewer. 
By default, the blocks are coloured according to parameter set. As you can see in this example, because I increased the search distance for each parameter set, the blocks within the area of close base drilling have been estimated using parameter set 0, and the blocks further away from the drilling estimated using parameter set 3. You can change the parameter the model is coloured on from the drop-down menu. The final thing I'm going to show you is how to export the data. To export the parameter set table to a CSV file, simply right-click anywhere within the table, either within the 3D viewer or the LKNO tabs, and select export.csv. Now there are two options for exporting the results. The first method is to click on the results tab, right-click anywhere within the table, and select export.csv. The second method is very useful if you are wanting to perform model validation within Supervisor, as it not only creates the .csv file, but automatically loads it back into Supervisor as block data. To do this, right-click on the LKNO component in the data tree and select Export. Enter a file name and select Save. The block data will appear in the data tree and from there you can insert a model validation as usual. To find out more about this approach, read the article under the new section on our website, or check out I'd Like to Be OK with MIK, you see, by Jackie Coombs. You'll find the link in the feed below this video. Please let us know if you found this video useful by clicking like. For more information, or to make suggestions for other tips and tricks videos, click the link in the description below.